back to my channel. I hope you're having a blessed and beautiful day. Now in today's video, we are going to be reformulating my triple golden butter hair moisturizer and I'm just going to take you along with me. So I have all my ingredients here, my BTMS, I have my glycerin, I have a uh, babusa oil, I have batania oil, I also have my butters, so this is Mafura butter, this is a uh, Tukuma butter and I also have Ukuba butter and mango butter. I also have my oils. I have grapeseed oil, avocado oil, I have my distilled water and I have my fragrance. Everything is already sanitized so I'm going to go ahead and start weighing out my butters so that I can go ahead and put them to melt down. All right, so let me turn that on, put this on here, and I'm gonna go ahead and tear out my scale. So I'm gonna start uh, with my butters. I'm going to go ahead and start with the um, Mafura butter. So let me go ahead. Um, this is what it looks like. So it has melted a bit. Well, not a bit. This is a lot of melting that has gone, um, that has happened here, but. I'll go ahead and I will have my oils melted out and my butters and this is a very good butter Mafura butter oh, what am I saying Mafura butter it has a lot of benefits for the hair and the skin it prevents split ends, breakage, it gives you that shine, it helps to detangle the hair, it makes it soft, it keeps the moisture in, so it's a really good oil um, butter to have in a moisturizer. So let me go ahead and weigh out my butter. Where did this fly come from? Alright, so that's it for my butter here. That's for the Mafura butter. And let me tear this here. And I'll put this away. And then I'm going to add my ukuba butter and this is what it looks like so these are a hundred percent natural butters And it smells really good and see there you go so let's put it in here Just put this over here, and this is what the Tukuma butter looks like. Uh, let me get my mango butter. It's on the other side, so.
and then that's the mango butter. And that's perfect. That's the right amount right there. Didn't need a lot of that. Oops. Now I'm going to add my Batania oil and my babusa oil, also the grapeseed oil and the avocado oil. So let's do the babusa oil. This should do. There we go. Just perfect. And then to do the batania oil. I keep saying batani, but it's actually batana. I don't know why I keep saying batani. It's actually batana. So this should do, because I don't need a lot. So, let's see. I need a little more. There we go, perfect. So I stir that out and I have my avocado oil here that I'm going to add. butters and the oils I am going to go ahead and put it over the heat I already have a pot on the stove so I'll put this there so it can melt down and then I am going to go ahead and measure my distilled water and my glycerine so let me go ahead and put this right back and I will be right back all right so the butters and oils are on the stove melting down so I'm going to me um, measure my water phase. So let me tear this out. And then I have my distilled water here. Um, this is just distilled water I picked up at um, Walmart. So I'll go ahead and I'll measure out my distilled water. enough left in this bottle for what I need. Yeah, there we go. Just enough was in this bottle. Alright, and then I need to measure out my grocery. before I put it on the heat as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out my fragrance that I will need. And this is a blend that I am doing. one. 
that I missed um, putting the BTMS in the melting phase there so I'm going to go ahead and measure it out and go add it to the container there combined here so now I'm just uh, mixing it together to create um, that emulsion so I'm going to use my immersion um, blender to kind of make sure the water and the oils are combined and then I will leave it to cool a bit before I add my fragrance and anything else Want to make sure. It cools down a bit more. I will go ahead and add my preservative and my fragrance because it includes water, so we definitely need a preservative to make sure it, there's no mold and bacteria because you don't want mold and bacteria in your hair. And this is a really rich leave-in moisturizer. The Mafura butter, um, it's rich source of um, essential fatty acids. It has vitamins and minerals. It has um, anti-inflammatory properties, antibacterial properties, and it's also antifungal. So it's an excellent moisturizer for the hair and the skin. It also promotes um, hair growth, it reduces hair loss, it is said to, redu um, to help in reducing wrinkles on the skin. So it's definitely um, a good choice to use in your skincare and your hair care products. Um, as you noticed, I also used um, the Ifuba butter, which adds hydration um, to your hair and skin as well. It's also high in um, myristic acid. It behaves um, very similar to um, beeswax and the Ukuba butter can be used as an emulsifying agent so it's a great ingredient um, to create a stable and um, moisturizing product. As for the Tokuma butter, that butter is often referred to as a miracle moisturizer for the hair and the skin because it is also rich in um, fatty acids, antioxidants, and it has um, the vitamins. It's a very nourishing and moisturizing ingredient. So it's um, light and easily absorbed. So if you rub it on the skin, it absorbs easily. It soothes and calm irritated skin. So persons with um, like eczema and cirrhosis, this would be perfect for them. It provides um, a rich, deep sort of conditioning um, treatment um, for the hair. So it nourishes and repairs damaged strands in your hair. And then I also added um, avocado, avocado oil and um, grapeseed oil. And these two oils are known oils that's perfect. Um, avocado oil moisturizes and softens the hair. Um, it helps to protect from environmental damage and stuff like that while the grapeseed oil it absorbs quickly it's said to be a dry oil but it's high in um, fatty acids so it doesn't leave your hair peeling greasy and stuff so it makes it really perfect for um, a moisturizer so as it cools down it thickens all right so it has cooled down somewhat and this is what it looks like uh, let me do it like this where you may be able to see it a bit better. But this is what it looks like. I need a bit creamier. 
so I will definitely go ahead and mix it some more so till, until I get to that creamy consistency that I need it to be but so far this is it it still needs to cool some more but I'll go ahead and give it some more mixing <laughs> definitely go ahead and add my preservatives and give it another mix and then I'll be able to go ahead and transfer it to the jars so I'll be using a natural preservative as well so this will be a hundred percent natural all natural goodness for your hair it looks so yummy so creamy and nice Alright, so it's cooled to the point where I can go ahead and add my fragrance and my uh, preservative. So I had already weighed out the fragrance, so I'm going to go ahead and add it in here. And then I will get the preservative and put it in here. Then I am going to go ahead and do another power mixture just to make sure everything is properly combined. Oh, I just love how creamy this looks. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, let me try to take this a bit closer. Mm. Let's see here how oh, you can see it there. It's creamy. It's beautiful. I love it. I think yeah, this is for mm, let's put it up here. There you go. It is beautiful. Creamy, very good consistency, and it smells so so good i love it so the next time you see me i will be putting this in the jars and labeling them okay guys so today is thursday almost a week later since i did um, the moisturizers, I didn't get a chance to show you when I was um, putting them in the jar. I have started labeling. This is just um, the top label, but I'm not going to show you the labeling today because today I'm going to be doing um, my shampoo and conditioner. But I just wanted to close out that first video that I was doing. So this is what they look like. And we'll see you in another vlog where I'll show you all the labeling. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below with any questions and I'll be happy to answer. Have a good one.